So my buddy came over here to my hop shard and he was amazed and pointed out the tiny little hops cones that are starting to grow on my plant. No folks, that's actually a male hops flower. These are female hops cones. That's right folks. Today's tip number 24, Max Raphael here from Hops World. Male hops versus female hops. Let's do it. Hey friends, today we're going to talk about male and female hops plants. That's right, hops are dioecious, friends. That means that they have separate plants for the male plants and the female plants. When a hop plant starts in the wild from seed, it could turn out to be male or female. But as the plants grow, you don't know what sex they are until they get full maturity, at least 10 or 15 feet tall, and they start flowering. So first we're going to talk about the female hops plant, which is the plant we use to make beer. When the female plant starts flowering, it gets these small little burrs with little white hairs that are pistils. These burrs eventually start swelling up and the pistils start dying off little by little and the burrs eventually get big and fat and turn more green and leafy and turn into what is called a hops cone. These hops cones can be one to three inches long and they are the only part of the hops plant that you use to make beer. So now we'll talk about the male hops plant. When the male plant starts flowering at the tip of the branches will start these little buds that they call balls. Eventually these little balls will open up and have little white or yellow flowers about a quarter inch long. These little flowers hang in what looks like little bunches of grapes. Eventually the flowers open up and are full of pollen. When this pollen is released, it floats in the air as you can see in this video and eventually will pollinate your hops cones. When a hops cone gets pollinated, it will be full of seeds. Although seeds really won't hurt your beer, and there are places in the world like England where they put male hops plants out in the field to actually add seeds to their cones, seeds are typically not wanted in your hops cones. That's really the last thing you wanna see is seeds. And if you have seeds, that means you have a male hops plant somewhere in the area. So here you go, you can see the difference in a full size plant here in the video. If you have seeds in your cones, go scouting your area and get rid of that male plant. Thanks folks for being with me today. I really enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel. Put a thumbs up if you liked our tip. Cheers to life.